Yes, welcome back. We are looking at the areas of compounded figures. And what do we mean with that? Well, you have learned the formulas to find the area of a trapezium, uh, um, a square, a triangle, yeah? parallelograms, rectangles. So you know the formulas to find the areas of those uh, polygons. But what about this one? What is this? This is like a boot or, or, or a flag, if you like. Who ever taught me a formula to find the area of this polygon, eh, of this figure? Nobody did. Does that mean I can't do it? Of course you can. Yeah? And with compounded figures, I'm going to show you two methods to do this. Eh, it's really important that you use your mental scissors. All right. And I'm going to show you that your first strategy could be, well, I'm going to cut it up over here. Okay. So how many parts do I have now? I have a one two parts because by cutting it up I have created two rectangles and I know to how to find the area of a rectangle yeah so the area of rectangle 1 base times height yeah this is a 2 by the way perhaps that's not very visible anymore that's a 2 so that is 2 times yeah what is that like 2 times is it 18 no the whole thing is 18 yeah from here to there it's 18 yeah, so what is this line going to be? Oh, hang on, we're gonna take away eight. That is going to be 10, eh? Two times 10. So the area of uh, triangle, or triangle, listen to me, of rectangle one is 20 centimeters squared. I do the same for number two. Yeah, what is the area? That is the length of this one times that one. Well, that one I can see, that is eight. Yeah, let me put there eight. But what about this one? It doesn't show. So you gotta find it. Yeah, it's there because it is seven plus two. Nine. Very good. Nine times eight, 72 centimeters squared. So I have found the area of rectangle one. I have found the area of rectangle two. So what is the area of my boot or L or whatever you want to call it? Well, that is the addition of those two. Yeah, 72 plus 20, 92 centimeters squared. Fantastic. That's one way of doing it. You could also have cut it over here. Yeah, then you will have a big rectangle over here, a very long one, yeah, not very wide. And you'll have a rectangle over here. Perhaps you want to try it. I'll do it quickly for you. Seven times eight, that is going to be 56. I was just gonna write it there. And here you would have 18 times two, that is 36. And 36 plus 56, 86, 92 indeed. So you cut it up, okay? But I still want to show you one more method uh, to also calculate this, just because I want to provide you with as many tools to approach these questions. And I will show you that in the next video. So now go to the next video, please.